First question here, smash a hole. Do you think AG is on the hot seat right now? Yes, I do think AG is on the hot seat. When your defense is bottom third again, you have to be. You have to be. And I was listening to Detroit Lions podcast last night, and Jeff Risden and Chris, make sure you subscribe to their channels. They made a great point. John Fox is on this football team. So if the Detroit Lions wanted to make a move and remove AG, John Fox easily could step in and take over play, play calling for the Detroit Lions defense. Yes, he's on the hot seat. Clearly. He's on the, he has to be on the hot seat. Emil says 31 10 mil. You think the Detroit Lions is going to score 10 points? Look, man, you got to be a little more realistic than that. Lions offense is good. Okay, they're going to score more than 10 points. But if you have them winning, I have no problem there. If you got questions, hashtag Lions in the comment section. So, sad Drake London went to Atlanta. Now he looks like a bust. Drake London? I don't think he's a bust at all. X factor for the Lions offense and defense just came up. Just waiting for the question to pop up on my feed here. It says, for offense, like I said, I got Jameer Gibbs. I think he should be the X factor in this game. The Lions need to run the football. The Atlanta Falcons defense is 22nd in the NFL in run defense. I think the Lions should be able to run the football. They need to with Jameer Gibbs not have David Montgomery. Defense? <sighs> I'm going to say it's going to be on the Lions linebackers to stop this run. If they come out and play solid tackling, the Lions have a chance, right? If they play like they did last week and miss tackles left and right, Alex Anzalone, then we're going to lose this game. They get, they got to be able to tackle in sound fundamental football. Who would you get to replace... A.G., well, it could be John Fox, right? I just said that. I think John Fox could be a good one. Exactly what, though, Detroit Lions podcast said, so take, they take credit for that. They could be the defensive mind. He could be the defensive mind for that football, for the Detroit Lions football team. Question, who will get pressure on Ritter? I pray that it will be the Lions defensive line. It needs to be. They have underperformed in getting sacks. Underperformed in getting sacks. I'm hoping it's the defensive line. How can we improve as a defense? Well, we can do better in pass defense. We're playing soft coverage and putting uh, we're putting Charles Harris and James Houston before we got injured in coverage. Unacceptable. Don't do that. Play more aggressive. They're playing too damn soft. You're playing way off. Stop playing soft. How much play action... Will we see, worried that we'll bit too much on it? I don't think it'll be too much, but we'll see quite a bit. Is that That's what Jared Goff's good at. Let's see. If you don't have a hashtag, I'm probably going to miss your question. Hashtag lines. I know a lot of where Glenn's scheme came from is to avoid the quarterback rush. Do you think we keep similar scheme to stop their run game? Considering that the run 54% of the snaps, what do you think? Uh, yes, I think that's what they're going to do in this game, Owen Culver. Now, that's what I would want them to do in this game, too, because you got to be able to stop the run game. Now, before, it's a little bit different. Like, you got Seattle who can pass the football, but this team is a little bit different. They're a run-first team, so we have to focus on stopping the run and have Desmond Ritter beat us in the pass game. Smash the hole. How come we haven't gotten help from Hutchinson yet? I mean, he's the only one really getting pressure. Your 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 question is is mind boggling to myself as well because I don't know. They need to get better. I don't know. It, it's it's maybe put Bugs in there, get in Broderick Martin in there. There are so many factors that could be the problem. We just don't. I don't really know right now. Lions will J, Ag make any adjustments? He hasn't shown that he can. That's the question. I think he's wants to do what he wants to do, but at the same time, he's not the head coach. So maybe Dan Campbell's telling him, hey, you need to switch it up. So I'm going to put I don't know on that one. That's Lions Chase Young factor fiction. I'm going to say they don't get Chase Young. 
Why? Because the Washington football team, I think they're one and one right now. It's not like they're 0 and 2 or they're going to be like 0 and 6 before the trade deadline. So I'm going to say it will be fiction that we will not get him. Will Jack Campbell be missing in action? I hope not. He needs to be in the game. He needs to be in the game. I understand they they like having Alex Anzalone out there with Derek Barnes. I think Derek Barnes should be out there. But you invested 18th pick. We've seen what he can do in preseason. We've seen what he can do in Kansas City. Put him out there on the field. Period. Point blank. That's it. Raid from Grandizer. What's up, Grand? How many blown coverages will Will Harris have? Hopefully not a lot because he shouldn't be in lots in this game, right? It, I, I don't want to see any, but you know me. I don't know if he's how much he's going to be out there. So if he's out there, 30 snaps, hopefully it's not 28 blown coverages. Hopefully it's not. But I got to say, I got to say the same thing about Jerry Jacobs. He's got to have a better game in this game. He played terrible last week. And I was ready to bench Jerry Jacobs for Will Harris. That's how bad it was. So any, any guy, they got to do it. Hashtag Lions, hashtag FTP, hashtag is Goff throwing 500 yards? Absolutely not. Atlanta Falcons defense is, is good. They're, he's not going to be throwing no 500 yards. Nope. Where Broderick Martin? He hasn't played. He's been inactive. Him and Isaiah Bugs has been active. Hopefully they, you know, maybe they get some plays in this game. Switch it up on the defensive line. It's been booty cheeks. Nine Drink says, please stand up, Romeo. Is it possible that our numbers aren't impressive because we just played the Chiefs and Seahawks just have our number? It's possible. It's early in the season. That's why I'm not, you know, falling off a cliff or anything like that. Um, it's very possible. We'll see as, as time goes along. Remember, we started 1-6 last year and then it got better. So, you know, we'll take a little bit of time here to figure it out, Andrew Larson. And it could be teams like... Cincinnati or 0-2 are better than what they are. Same with Minnesota Vikings or teams that are undefeated are worse than what they are. We'll find out a little bit later, weeks down the road. It Will the Lions shoot themselves in the D? I hope not. Do not shoot yourselves in the D. Don't be Cheddar Bob in this mug. Stop hurting ourselves. We got to face the team. The referees, and we, and if we face ourselves, it's over. Amanda Durham says, very hard to be a Lions fan. She knows this very, very well because I talk to her a lot. She knows that it's very difficult to be a Lions fan because I complain to her. When the Lions lose. It's tough. It's tough to be a Lions fan. <laughs> Hopefully we're better there. Hopefully the Lions make the playoffs. I'm not falling off a cliff saying the Lions the same old Lions or anything like that. It's just one loss. I'm the only one saying Dan Campbell is not the one. Sorry. You, look, I let you, anyone's allowed to have their opinion. Dan Campbell's a pretty damn good coach, in my opinion. He's taken this team from a finesse football team to a physical football team. Everybody believes in him. Is his play calling? Could it get better? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely could get better. But I'm not gonna. I'm not on the bandwagon saying this guy needs to be fired. That's for damn sure. I like. I like Dan Campbell. If the, if the Lions make the playoffs, he probably could be coach of the year. We got 175 in the building with 55 likes. Let's get 45 more likes in there. If we do, we'll do an ultra combo, and we're gonna have some fun. If I miss your question, repost it. We will get in there and uh, get your question answered. Mr. Glass Rogers, what's the latest on C.J. Gardner-Johnson and Mosley? C.J. Gardner-Johnson is on IR. Hopefully he'll come back if the Lions make the playoffs. Mosley, maybe we'll see him on Green Bay game or after. I'd probably say after because it gives him a 10-day 10 10 day rest. One pride, is Tracy Walker going to step up? He's not a bad player. I just, I never hated Tracy Walker. I think he can step up for sure. He, is he C.J. Garner-Johnson? No, but he's a pretty good player, right? He's not horrible, anything like that. A week off hurt them mentally and physically. Well, hopefully they can come back and play physical. Where is Isaiah Bugs on the sideline? 
That's where he is. Hopefully he's playing on Sun or on yeah on Sunday. Need to see it. Seahawks says thanks for the wins, Lions. Hey. Thanks for another L loss from you guys. We always lose to you guys. Lions, who has had more of an impact, Dan Campbell or Brad Holmes? Damn, that's a good question. Who's had more of an impact on these guys? God, I must say equal because, look, Brad Holmes knows how to draft. He finds these players. Man, he, he's good at the draft. And then Dan Campbell is getting the best out of his players. He is. So I'm going to go with both. I think they have had a equally positive impact on this football team. Here's a great question. Thank you for, for posting this. Do you think that James Mitchell will get action on Sunday? We are big fans of his. Yeah, what the hell, man? Get him out there. I agree with you. Get James Mitchell out there. We want to see him make an impact. Okay, I love Laporta. He's making an impact. Love it, absolutely. Let's get some James Mitchell in action. We have some issues at receiver, right? So get some James Mitchell out there for the tight end. I like your bold prediction here that Sam Laporta gets 80-plus yards and a touchdown. You know what? I, I could see that happening. Sam Laporta is really coming into his own. I can see it. Will Desmond Ritter look like Joe Montana on Sunday? I pray to God no. I'll say no. Doesn't mean I'm right. I'm going to say no. Let's see. If you got questions, put hashtag in the comment section. That's how I see it. That's how I will get your questions answered. Would you like to see Jack Campbell play defense of defensive line? If that No, I don't want to see Jack Campbell play on the defensive line. He's a linebacker. I want him to be a linebacker. I think he's good in coverage. I think he's good at tackling. He needs to be a linebacker. That's what he needs to be for our de beloved Detroit Lions. Super chat for Mike the Goat McCall. Shout out to Mike McCall in the comments section. Everybody show him some love. He said, hashtag FGB. Mike, I have faith in our leaders, and I think that we're going to hit some bumps in the road this year. We'll see all the teams. We were, I thought we were, 1-1, one and, one, and we still believe we win a minimum of 11. I had 11 wins to start the season. I think the Lions can do 11 wins. Thank you so much for the $20 Super Chat, Mike McCall. There's going to be bumps in the road. Every team has bumps in the road. Every team has bumps in the road. And the Lions are going to be no different. Hopefully, they can rebound and get a win. A lot of people had them about 1-1 one and one at this point. A lot of people. It's just a bummer when you're when you lose. It's a bummer when you lose. <laughs>